Welcome to another video by Ferrell's Technology. Today we're going to talk about headers and footers. What I want to do is show you that you can put pretty much any information you want in a header and footer and position it in the center, on the left, or on the right, whichever you want. To start this off, I'm going to just double click in the header here. That'll open up both my header and my footer. Now, as we do this, notice it's justified to the left. And if I went to my home page here, I could justify it to the right. And I could just put a page number there. That's fine. But let's go ahead and go to my header footer tab to see where I can do some custom work with my header and footer. Because on this page, I can put a different first page on it, for example. If I have a title page, I can decide to leave all of the header and footer blank on the title page and start my header footer from that point forward or put different material on my title page that I decided to, to put there and not in the rest of the pages. Or I can have a different odd or even page. Like for example, when you're, when you're doing a double sided paper and you're doing a book, you want the page number on the left side on the, on the left pa page and on the right side on the right page, for example. You can, you can make those kind of modifications. But where the real ability to change things comes is over here when you click the down arrow on header and you can see all these built in custom sort of work from, you know, different graphics under each one. This is a, an even page graphic and an odd page graphic, for example, uh, like you would a book, uh, like I mentioned earlier. What the one I like, though, is I like this one up here because it gives me total flexibility. It allows me to put something on the left or center or right, and it allows me to put anything I want in any of those places. So I'm going to choose it here. And for this little demo, let's go ahead and decide here in the center, I'm just going to put the title of my book. Okay. And over here on the right hand side, I want to put a date, but let's say I want to put a custom date there. I can go here to quick parts. And when I click the down arrow here, I can put a field in there. Now, what I want to do up in the top right is I want to put the date that it was last saved. Okay, so I found my date format here. I can choose that type of a date. Up here, I'm going to choose just a very abbreviated date. And I'm going to see, insert the date last used format from the insert tab, okay? Date last used, okay? And I'm going to click OK there, and that'll put that date up there. On the left-hand side, I'm going to go ahead and just delete it because I don't, that's all the information I want, okay? Now, I'm going to zip down to my header here, put the cursor in here. I'm going to do the same over here. In my footer, I can have those same three columns. So over on my right side, I am going to put a page number, okay? But I'm going, not going to do that page number. I'm going to go back over here to Quick Parts, go to the field, and I'm going to go down here to a command called Page. And I'm going to choose regular Roman numbers, and I get a page number. In the center here, I want to put the author. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a field here, and username. And I want click OK. There's the username off of the options page of Word. And then let's go over here to the left hand side. I want to put a date time in there. And I'm just going to choose date time here. And I'm going to choose a full date time and update it automatically. Okay. So whenever I float my mouse over it or click in it, I can click update and this date will change to the current date. This date will change according to the date I save it. Okay. And this date down here will change based on when I update it. Okay. And then I, that way I have total control. So here I have custom footers, custom headers. It allows me to have the kind of flexibility that I want. Now all I have to do is, is write my paper and save it, and that inform the rest of the information takes care of itself. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope to see you again sometime. Thanks.